See, when you're an expert, you know exactly what, uh, what nut this is, but I have no clue, so I just... This goes to the other side, and this I just... The hand guards don't touch. That's it. It's over. This riding season is over. I'm winterizing the bike. Literally getting the bike ready for winter time. A lot of people usually winterize their bike, meaning they're getting the bike ready to be stored during the winter and not ride well. I ride all year round when I can, unless there's snow on the ground. And my winterizing is gonna be a little bit different today. Let's uh, get my gear, all gear already. That's the Goldwing, the motocross, my winter gear and the FX, all the FX stuff. So we're gonna get the, the Lowrider ST ready for winter. Let me get all my stuff, FX LRST. Got a lot of Advent Black stuff over here that I've been getting over the years from them. And today we're gonna be installing hand guards for your grips. Stop the blizzard, the strong cold wind and road hazards, pebbles, rocks, things that can fly and hurt your hand. Let me install them and then we'll do another thing that has to do with the winterizing the bike. Found what I was looking for. These are my hand guards. Hand guards that I took off during the summer and these are actually, they can go, uh, they're also good for summer as well because you see these rubber grommets, they can come out and let air, air in. I'm going to be installing them over here. Should be easy. Advan Black, thank you again. Even wearing their shirt. Should be pretty easy. The, uh, wait, let me get the tools in, I'll show you. See, when you're an expert, you know exactly what, uh, what bolt, I mean, what nut this is. But I have no clue, so I just grab a handful of wrenches second shot everything on a harley is pretty much a half or seven eighths i think just remove the a acorn nut i think it's called from the bottom put the hand guard in right here and put the nut back on tighten it don't forget to put the washer on the bottom i just dropped and lost the washer i'll find it soon once i move the bike now tighten the bolt position the mirror any way you want it. Make sure you get good clearance between here and your lever. And you don't need to worry because even in full deflection, it doesn't touch. You see, even in full deflection, it doesn't touch the windshield. And this is a wider windshield. It's a clear windshield. It's like two inches wider than the standard. So even in full deflection, the hand guards don't touch. Let me do the other side, same thing. Same thing, other side. It's nice about these hand guards. They have these rubber grommets that you can take off and ride during the summer. So you can have this year round, you get some good ventilation. And during winter, you just put this back in. So this is what it looks like after it's installed. I think it actually gives it a nice badass look as well. Function and form. No. Yeah, form and function, yup. Now that we're done with the hand guards, the next step is soft lowers. Specifically, my bike has a Harley Davidson mustache engine guard and it's uh, kind of difficult to find proper lowers. So there's a company named Desert Hogs. I use these only winter and blocks off a lot of, lot of wind on my lower body, so. That's the next step. Remember I told you at the time that my neighbor always tries to disturb. Now he's winterizing his lawn. He got a compressor right there. And he's uh, winterizing his sprinklers. You know, pumping all the water out exactly when I'm doing the video. You hear that noise? So these are the Harley mustache engine guards. A lot of you that have a ST or are planning to buy ST said they didn't know that this can fit with the forward controls where yes, it actually fits. Harley doesn't make 
soft lowers for the mustache engine guard. So I found this from Desert Hot and I use this winter only. Little pockets over here. I don't really use that. And you can see over here some markings that I did. I was planning originally to make a cutting over here and to do a little uh, seam and do it nicely. Went to a like a tailor that would make a little cut over here so I can get these the Lindby highway pegs in. But now I'm just I just don't use a slide on. Simple, just like that. This can be a highway peg. And these click these little whatever you call these buttons, snap on buttons. This goes to the other side. And this I just tie down Velcro so it doesn't flap around. Now same thing to the other side. They slide on, simple as that. One, two, and three. This Velcro, just tie around. Snap these two on. There you have it. Get some nice, really good wind protection. Good wind protection for those cold days on your lower body. Last thing and most important, if you don't have heated grips, and I don't, I always ride with heated gear, 12 volt heated gear. I have this already connected. This is a dongle, the receptacle where the heated gear goes. I get all my gear ready. Let me show you what I could ride with. Winter gear. These are my Gerbing, Gerbing 12 volt gloves. And I'm missing a glove. Now oh, here's the glove. The second, Gerbing heated glove comes obviously I'll show you in the house but it comes with all these all these controllers heat control so you can control uh, the heat heat in your gloves and the heat in the rest of the body which uh, in my case I take everything everything let me show you what I have let me show you all this stuff this is my riding heated my active heated gear right here this is all my Gerbing Gerbing heated gear 12 volt as you can see, this is where, this goes into the uh, motorcycle, the red plug you saw before. And I have in here, that controller controls the temperature, the heat zones. So I have lowers, I wear my, my pants, heated inner pants that goes under my, it's an under layer. This jacket is an under layer as well for the upper body. Believe it or not, I actually wear socks, heated socks. 12 volt heated socks. That's how cold I get, but it keeps me nice and warm, let me tell you that. Oh yeah, part, part of uh, keeping warm in winter is wearing uh, people that have no hair like me. You need to keep your head really nice and warm. And you see my hat, merch, I have that on my website, www.holyshift.us. Grab yourself a nice beanie and support the channel. Thank you. So guys, that's about it. Hand guards, soft lowers, heated gear. My bike is winterized, ready to ride during winter, during the below zero temperature. I hope you enjoyed this. 
I am Sandy watching Holy Shift. Till the next video, guys. Peace out. And it's even got if you want to keep it be, if you want to keep it on year round, it's got these grommets that come out and get a lot of airflow in. Your mirrors and don't lose the bolt. I just lost the washer.